In this short video, we'll be looking at how to mix fiberglass resin and top coat, as well as how to clean your buckets out afterwards. Now, this is a standard polyester fiberglass resin as used on flat roofs. And the first thing to take into consideration is curing time and temperature. Now, almost all resins that I've ever used have a suggested mixing ratio for catalyst pasted onto the sides of their containers. But in case you haven't, I'll supply one on my website, linked to via the description bar below if you need it. Now, remember on warm days or when working on warm surfaces to lower the ratio of catalyst, but no lower than 1%. On cold days or when you want something to cure fast, up to 4%, but don't go above or below those percentages. Wear full wraparound eye protection, and this will help also protect from splashing. The next thing you need is a painter's bucket like this one, marked internally in litres. This makes mixing accurate quantities very easy. Now pour out no more resin than you can comfortably work with before it cures. If you've never worked with resin before, mix no more than four to five litres maximum at a time. Here for demonstration purposes, I will be mixing just one litre. Always replace caps on resins when they're not in use and keep out of direct sunlight. Next, I'm going to add catalyst and there are dedicated catalyst dispensers available, but I prefer to inject my catalyst directly into the resin with a syringe. I find it mixes faster because it doesn't splash around on the surface as you mix it in. That makes it safer and speeds things up. I'm now going to add 2% of catalyst to this one litre of resin, which is 20 millilitres of cat. Stir it in thoroughly with a clean stick. An offcut of wood like this is ideal because the wide square edges ensure good mixing. A round mixing stick, as an example, would be a poor choice. When you're happy that it's mixed, you're good to go. Multiple mixes can be made in the same bucket when empty. But when you've done, leave any spare resin in the bottom like this. Old brushes or roll heads can also be placed into the waste mix as these cannot be cleaned up. The same goes for your disposable gloves too if you have resin on them or holes in them. After the resin has hardened off, the waste should now be in one solid lump at the bottom. Turn over the bucket and place it upside down and by applying some gentle pressure on it with your foot you should now be able to pop out the waste resin and leave your bucket nice and clean so it lives to work another day. Mixing a top coat or colour is just as simple as before but this time the lowest catalyst ratio is 2%. Do not add less than 2% catalyst or more than 4%. Again, pour out your colour into the bucket using the internal litre markings as a guide. I will be using one litre of top coat and mixing this time at 3% catalyst just for a change. Now, 3% of one litre is 30 millilitres. So I will draw it up and inject it under the surface as we did before. Give it a good stir, not forgetting to get into all the corners of the bucket as well. And obviously we're wearing full wraparound eye protection. When working with colours, I would always recommend using a fresh bucket for every mix if possible. Remixing in the same bucket does risk some hardened bits of colour contaminating a fresh mix if you're not careful. And if you roll these into your nice finish, it can be a nuisance. Disposing of old kits and gloves is the same as before, as is cleaning the waste from your bucket. Finally, if you have used a syringe, rinse it thoroughly in some water with a little soap in if possible and you can use it again on other jobs. Well, that brings this video to a close. I hope it's helped. If you need fiberglass supplies, check out the description bar below and don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks for watching.